Hey, what's going on YouTube fam? I just wanted to make this video just to give you guys a little touch up for the morning to say hello, how you doing? And I hope that everybody has a blessed day. Yesterday, for the first time I tried to cut crease. I learned how to uh, do it. I'm in the beginning stages because I watched somebody here on YouTube. And so if you could look at my eyes, I, I kind of went, I did okay. You know, not too bad for a beginner. And so I kept it on for today, and then today when I redo my makeup, because I'm going to redo another cut crease, I'm going to uh, do it again. It was very fun doing that cut crease, and I love doing it. Um, so from this point on, I'm going to just try to work towards doing more cut creases, just expanding with the makeup and sort of not trying but getting better. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm still doing my bullying project. I'm going to always update you guys on that. It's going moving a little bit slow. A lot of people don't like to talk about it. A lot of people don't like to participate in those type of things. But I bet you if I was talking about fights and say, carrying on, I have a bunch of people wanting to talk about it. But it's okay. You know, because eventually I'll get some people. And then I'll probably grasp one to a lot of you guys' um, attention and... Um, keeping you guys updated just to let you know um so this morning when we were walking out uh to go to school across the street from us a little girl said hello to my daughter and i said is she in your classroom she says yes i said well why you don't want to be her friend oh i can't find her i say to my daughter i just think that you don't want friends and that's okay but that's not okay and the reason why i say it's not okay is because that lets you know that my daughter can potentially potentially have friends, but she's so worried about her friend. Look at my hand, it's red. Her, her friend, her other friend, she wants to be her friend still, but her other friend ain't worried about her, honey. And so I told my daughter, you oh, try to be her friend. She's your neighbor. You guys live across the street from each other. You can go knock at her door. Hey, can you come outside and play? Hey, you know, something. You know, so my daughter, so she said, okay, I'm not for, gonna force her to do anything because that's not fair and it ain't right. But I'm excited to know that at least someone says hello to her, you know, and like I told her, I said, you just don't want friends. And that's kind of how I was, you know, like literally if I had a friend and uh, I wouldn't make friends with a lot of people. I only wanted one friend. And it's not that I was clingy to that one friend. I just wanted one friend. I didn't want five and six, seven friends. Like right now, I, I'm an adult and I would love to have like five girls that we can all just go hang out with and, and link up. See, I do paparazzi and I'm on Facebook. And a lot of people in the Bay Area don't really do a lot of these sales things. So, but if you're watching this and you're from the Bay Area, because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm also tagged the Bay Area too, and you do paparazzi, come and uh, be my friend because I'd love to connect with a lot of paparazzi women from the Bay Area. But then again, you know, there's women out here that might be from paparazzi in the Bay Area, but they don't want to gain a lot of friends because at the end of the day, they don't want nobody, what they call, stealing from them, which means that they don't want them they don't want another paparazzi woman to get more. Like literally, I see my paparazzi ladies from Texas and so on and so forth. They do videos together and sell their jewelry together. So whatever one hold up, she sell. Whatever the other hold up, she might sell. You know, it's not about you making more sales than me or you cutting in on my money. That That's not what it's all about for them. And I'd love to meet someone like that. Um, what else? So I gave you a rundown on the, the, the bullying. The bullying thing is, like I said, moving slow. But once it gets up and going, I'm going to continue to keep you guys updated on it because I'd love to have a lot of people just come and, and participate, bring their children out, let's talk. Rather we do, whether we talk online, rather we just get together and, and stuff, or rather we just let our kids link up and be pen pals. We can start like that, it doesn't matter. As long as we can get these kids to a point to where they know all the, they have all the tools to know how to make a friend, to how to keep a friend, how to respond to people when, I think my bus is coming, when when they wanna be mean to them. 
So, um, yeah, that is my bus. So, yeah, so that's what I'm in the process of doing. I got a lot going on. I'm doing my makeup. I'm working with paparazzi. That is going good. I'm doing the bullying situation, the project for the bullying. That is going good. I plan on just expanding and doing a lot because I'm, I'm 40 plus. And it don't make no sense that I'm not anywhere in my life where I want to be. And I have plans. Next year, I'm planning to move. I told my husband, when our son graduates from high school, I'm out of here. I'm not going to stay here and, and live another year. Is this a two or a, yep, this is the two. I'm not going to stay here another year. I'm going to leave next year in uh, probably, I'm going to wait till probably around August or something like that. You know, but got to get it together. I got to possibly and, and potentially stay um, in the Bay Area and start looking for uh, places in Atlanta, maybe travel out there once or twice. I'm ready to do this. I'm tired of just sitting around and not doing anything with life, you know, travel, go somewhere. Like like my like my paparazzi girls, they've been knowing each other before they've known me. So they link up with each other every so often, you know. And they said, okay, well, you know, oh, when we hook up again, we'd love for you to just connect with us. I sure would. I sure will travel. I get my mom to babysit the kids, and I will be on my way out there. Life is too short for us to just sit around and not do anything. You know what I'm saying? We sit around here every single solitary day doing nothing with life but just letting time pass and i understand that some people do that because they literally literally feel like things is not going their way like i literally sat and listen i won't say their name and i won't say who sat in with someone and they were like okay i wish i could not work i wish i had some type of money coming in that you know prevent that that i cannot work and i'm like that won't happen unless you plan on doing something else that you used to love doing maybe you can do this the no i can't do that because i'm too old okay i'm not talking about that i'm talking about doing things like producing and 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 promoting and so on and oh it is it's just hard you can't do that you know it's so hard you just don't know trust me i know and i'm like you know and i'm sitting i'm listening to them drag themselves in the dirt and not have any type of life when they speak and i'm like this is so sad they gotta end at some point you know do i want to be 60 still sitting like i was 40 like i was when i was 40 i don't i don't want to sit around here like that life is just it's it's more to life than we make it and in order for us to expand and grow we have to want to grow. That's just like, as kids, we grow to a young child and a teenager, then an adult. But if you just stuck in one way, then you're gonna always be thinking, I'm not gonna never get nowhere. This is not gonna never work for me. My bus is really coming now. I just want people to know to stay positive. Do what you gotta do to support your family. Don't do nothing crazy and outrageous. You know, work somewhere. You know what I'm saying? If you do makeup very good and you want to work for these companies, by all means, if you could sell it, work it. I do paparazzi. People can see the product. That's why I am I am doing it successfully well. You know, when you're doing makeup, that they can't see it. Unless you're with Mary Kay, I think. Mary Kay gives you a bunch of products to where you can see it. And Avon, too. But I don't know about any other company. Anyway, I'm going to go. You guys be blessed. You guys stay positive. Remember, if you have any tips for me, if you have any suggestions for me, any places you want to call out, if you want to be a part of my team with this bullying project, get at me. We can work together. Mugbang Terminator, get at me. I am too concerned about you. You ain't been on in a while. All right. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you all later. Bye.